to welcome to um, my little talk on the Steam controller and then Steam hardware. Announced today, you can pre-order your um, Steam controller for 50 bucks, Steam Link for 50 bucks, or a Steam machine, the Alienware, um, starting and the um, Cyber. Okay, starting at four um, four fifty and uh, five hundred, and they're looking at a October. Um, release and I want to talk about the Steam controller now a lot of people think this is cool and it's you know it's something different and well so the the two of the basic controller designs we have for the Xbox um, PlayStation and the Wii um, you know they kind of, the Xbox and the Wii uh, U Xbox one and Wii U controllers are kind of similar with the um, with the uh, with the uh, the DualShock 4 and the PlayStation 4 being uh, the only kind of different, but they all kind of are the same thing. They have um, two sticks, a D-pad for Facebook for, for face uh, face buttons with a um, you know there's a plus there's a I guess a hamburger sometimes they call it or Windows button. So there's two buttons for like men menu at, um, menus and options. Uh, you know two bumpers and two triggers. You know, L1, R1, uh, L2, R2, and then, um, you know, the sticks are also uh, buttons. So right now, I'm using a Xbox 360 controller. The Xbox 360 controller is great. It's one of the best out there, and it's what's great about it is, um, you know, Windows, it's an Xbox, it's a Microsoft controller, and it works great with Windows um, because it has the drivers and all that X input and all that stuff, and so... When you need one controller for your com games, when you're playing fighting games, or maybe not fighting games, you say you're playing an RPG, I'm playing The Witcher on a controller, it's great. Or, you know, you're playing your racing games, or any, you know, platformers and all that stuff, You can't, and a lot of indie games, they all map to the, um, the face buttons will be button prompts for the Xbox uh, 360 controller. So now... Why am I making a video on Steam Controller? The problem I have with the Steam Controller is it's digital. So those two buttons right here, these uh, these two trackpads, they're trackpads. And trackpads are garbage. So I've seen video of it. I haven't seen anything lately, but uh, CES 2015 and 2014 is what those things do is a scroll wheel something. So on my controller right now, if I'm driving a racing game, if I turn left, I would have, I would just move the stick. But then I can, uh, but on a trackpad, I would just have to uh, swipe. There's a lot of swiping, especially with the right one. Um, it just, it, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, there's no deep, there's no analog feel to that. It's, it looks very cumbersome. It doesn't look like it's gonna help. Like, it's, it's very weird. It's, you know, it's, why? Why are they doing this? Why are they trying to inject... Something that's a household standard, like, you know, that's, some people are like, oh, they're just doing something different, but like, you know, there's a reason why the DualShock has been the DualShock for over, you know, 20 years. You know, it, it really hasn't changed until the PlayStation 4 when they, you know, they molded it a little bit to be a little bit more, you know, ergonomic, but, you know, the Xbox controller is like kind of a modified case modification of the Dreamcast controller and you know same with the GameCube too it's kind of like the same thing and you know the Wii U controller it's all it's all there you know you got your two sticks and you got your face buttons and then a d-pad um, I, I think they should have you know gone with more of a traditional way not having the um, the uh, the trackpads I mean they could easily put a d-pad there and then you know you know, have it more in line with a um, with a uh, with a DualShock or something. You know, Logitech controllers are the same way. They have the two sticks on the uh, bottom, and then uh, D-pad and face buttons on the top there. But it's just like, there's this why? Why would you do that? And their main reasoning is be is for a one-to-one -one thing with mouse and keyboard. Well, no, um. Their whole thing, the whole thing with the mouse and keyboard, that's all software. That is all software. That has nothing to do with the controller. Because, um, you know, there's a so piece of software that came out kind of a while ago. Um, called, uh, Xbatter, right here. Actually, when did it come out? 
Let's see here. Uh, it, it came out a while ago. And, uh, so where is it? Actually, that's a, that's a Spanish one, English one. What the hell? Weird. Um, actually it doesn't say when it came out. 2009? Wait, 2008? But yeah, it, it's been out for a while, and what Xpatter does, what the Steam, I guess Steam OS, Steam machines will do, is be a middleware f to 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 make um, the mouse move on some stuff. So what we're gonna hear, we got here, we got Xpatter. I've had this for a long time, and so what I have here is you um, you kind of like download a plane. And, Download the game, download the piece of software, put a little map there, and then you start pressing buttons. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new one here. And so now we just start pressing buttons, you know. Let's see here. So we got some buttons here. Let's add buttons. So that's the uh, A button I just pressed. We'll just put it over here. B button over there. X button over there. And so on. And it's just like, you know, the right stick button is registered. And the... And, uh, Left stick is over here. Let's do bumpers. You know, L1, R1, trigger figures. Triggers, I guess, would be uh, right here. So enable these. So you got an X and Y. You know, and all that stuff. It's 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 great. Like uh, D-pad right here. Enable the D-pad. Okay. Press up, down, left, right. And there we go. We we just mapped a whole controller. Um, with ease, and then we can um, we can add some sticks here. You know, left up. Um, we got another one here. Enable the right one. Uh, left uh, up. And so now we have the basics for what a controller will be. But uh, so let's just jump forward into what I have here. Let's go cancel. Where is it? Open. Uh, don't save. Here we go. Here. This. So this is what I've modded. And so all the buttons and. And, you know, D-pad, left and right, sticks, and left and right buttons. Everything is programmable. And so what this do, what I can do here is, um, say, I got a thing right here, remote. And so now I'm moving the mouse with my stick. I'm not, I'm not using a trackpad. It's, it's one-to-one. -one. So I'm pushing it left, pushing it right, you know, um... On a web page, I got, I changed it so the, uh, the scroll wheel is now an up and down. So it, it's it's like that, and you can edit so much things, so anything's uh, possible. So let's uh, um, we can't put in a keyboard, but let's uh, what else can we do here? Um, it, it's it, it, you can do all sorts of things. So I got uh, different ones for all sorts of different games that really don't have controller support. So I can play Peggle with a controller. You know, here's the setups for here. So I can even bind um. I'm binding uh, keyboards, you know, was add to the stick, um, you know, then some buttons over here. Uh, I've done it for, um, uh, you know, GTA 2, because that's not, it does not program for um, for a controller, so GTA 2, that top-down one. And so I could just, you know, left and right and all that stuff, move forward and all that stuff. Uh, what else, uh, you know, um... Portal, no, that's uh, Smite, which is a um, the third-person kind of MOBA, you know, Wazad. Then uh, this was right here is your uh, is your mouse, and then uh, one, two, three, four is your abilities, and then uh, you know uh, left click would be your main click, and then um, you know right trigger would be your main click, and all that stuff. So it's it's exactly what Steam what they want from Steam controllers. So I'm just wondering, hey. Why have a controller? And a lot of people were also mentioning, would mention about the VR, and I, I don't care about VR. VR is stupid. Um, it's dumb. It's it's dumb. It will be a novelty, it will be cool, but then it will die out. Uh, it won't die out, but it's just like, there's going to be no apps. And so, yeah. Anyways, there's... It's it's interesting. So when say you want to play Counter uh, um, Civilization, you're going to have to map these out or, you know, ha hope that the developers map that out for you. And is it the way that you want it, or the way that they want it? And they can do that in the software, but that's all SteamOS and Steam Machine. 
Um, maybe down the line, I haven't heard anything about, hey, if you buy a Steam controller, you're going to have that. It's like, why can't I just have... I like my controller here. I like my Xbox 360. It can mimic exactly what those things are. You know, the trackpads with, you know, the D-pad and all that stuff. Like, you know, the D-pad is just, um... Could be just use another stick, like it's a more precise thing, and it's you know up and down, left and right, you know here we go, and it's I don't know it's 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 2015, Valve. If you've made this controller, maybe 10 years ago, it might be something cool, but it's like it's you know all the games that are coming out for PC are gonna like 90% of them are gonna be using the Xbox controller button prompts, and it's going to be, um, I guess they are kind of the same, but it's still, like, it's how, it's going to be confusing. I think it's going to be confusing. Another app I want to talk about is this, uh, right here, this companion uh, app, which is on Steam right now. It kind of does the same thing. This is, uh, three bucks, and, uh, Xpatter is, uh, you can get the free version that doesn't do that much, but it's, uh, what is it? It's, it's PayPal. Let's see here. Is there anything here? It's ten bucks. It's not bad. I, I I've had it for a while, but yeah, you can um get controller companion, which is kind of the same thing. Um, it seems there'll be a little bit more um you know more stuff. So this guy does some demos where he can like do multiple multiple actions onto the um the controller. So it's there's other things that have been going on for a while that make Steam Controller really not relevant. It's, um, you know, its function is garbage. It's, I don't think these trackpads, I think a lot of people will not like them. People have been used to sticks since the dual, since 96, when, you know, the N64 and the PlayStation came out, and then, you know, you had Saturn, but nobody had a Saturn, because why would you have a Saturn? You know, th you're having sticks for an input, and, you know, you still have a D-pad, but, like, what are these trackpads? It's 2015. Nobody likes trackpads. Nobody makes good trackpads. You know, that's a thing that a lot of people don't like about laptops is trackpads are still kind of garbage. Um, you know, it is cool sitting back on your controller and, you know, doing all this stuff, but it's a lot of swiping. It's not a, you know, hey, it's... I'm just doing this with my finger. I'm just moving the stick all the way to the right, but then I, I don't want to swipe to move it to the left and move it to the, the right. So right now I'm just swiping my um, finger across the stick. It's like, it's analog. I don't need digital. Um, but that's going to hit. Um, I do last, last things I want to say is if you are looking into a Steam machine, definitely look at the Steam links here. Um, you know, unless you're a really hardcore person and really want to support Valve, buy these things, these things don't, these, yeah, the, the two gigabytes of uh, DDR5 graphics RAM, that's garbage, that's, what is that, like a, it's probably like a 7 or 600 series maybe, I wouldn't be surprised, and then probably, um, you'll probably be on par with a, um, with like a little bit better than a um, PlayStation 4, but it's, it's still, you're still going to be behind, you know, the T-80, T-89, 980 Ti just came out, and it's 350, and it's blowing people's minds away, um, but with the Steam link, you can do, um, streaming using Atom, and this is great, and it's only 50 bucks, so, um, and you know, the Steam UI, Steam OS is supposed to still support, uh, Xbox 360, but I still don't know how, I want the software, is it going to be free when that stuff comes out, but, um, anyways, Thanks for watching. I hope I didn't uh, piss off anybody. Uh, if I did, I'm sorry, but it's Steam controller looks like stupid. It's really stupid. Uh, as always, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe.